thank you very much. Uh, good morning, good evening, uh, friends who have joined uh, from different parts of the world, online as well as, as, well as physically there. Uh, it's indeed my pleasure to be here amidst you in the Indo-US Bridging Rare Summit 2023. My apologies for not being able to join this uh, summit physically. Uh, we all know that, uh, you know, rare disease, as our previous speakers have already said, was an orphan disease. I would like to use the word was, as, you know, in India, we have no longer kept the rare disease as an orphan disease anymore. And these uh, diseases continue to affect a very small number of individuals. And since they are affecting a very smaller population, uh, they are also associated with, you know, inappropriate uh, diagnosis, inappropriate management, or uh, chronic debilitation and adverse health outcomes, and even death in many cases. Thereby, this continues to be uh, an area which is lacking its due priority. Uh, we all know that every country has a definition for rare diseases. We were also trying to define the rare disease for the country, but uh, for the moment, based on various parameters, India has, you know, in the in the in the national policy for the rare diseases, define rare disease as you know the diseases which uh, belongs to the following three groups of uh, diseases. In group one, we have rare diseases requiring one-time curative and definitive treatment. And in group two, we have the rare diseases requiring lifelong treatment with good response or, 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 or on therapy. And the group three are those rare diseases requiring a lifelong uh, disease stabilization and prolongation of life uh, is only possible. We have subtypes, uh, group 1A, group 1B, group 2A, 2B, and group 3A and 3B. We, did, we do not have uh, a definition based on on the on, on the prevalence or the burden, but we have listed out. So one may ask that if you have listed out some diseases uh, now and in future, if you do have uh, some diseases which you want to consider as a rare disease, but it is not listed there, what should be the mechanism? So we what we do is we have a committee under the Director General Health Services, uh, which is known as the Central Technical Committee for Rare Diseases, which examine such cases which are being brought up by our centers of excellence for inclusion in the list of uh, rare diseases. Friends, uh, in the last uh, for the, uh, in the last few years, uh, we have met a lot of progress uh, in, in 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 terms of uh, extending our support for rare diseases. Uh, the ministry uh, on May 1922 increased the financial assistance for patients with all rare diseases, the group one, group two, and group three, from rupees 20 lakh, which is uh, equivalent to about. Uh, uh, 24,000 US dollar uh, to 50 lakh, which is uh, approximately 61,000 US dollar as uh, US dollar as one-time uh, package for uh, each particular patient. Now we we do not uh, you know give this uh, to the patient themselves. Uh, we do give this through the centers of excellence, which are designated for treating those with the rare diseases. And in the policy in uh, 2021. We had a list of uh, eight centers of excellence uh, and now we have increased it to 11 and we are in the process of increasing the number of uh, centers of excellence in such a way that uh, we cover the whole uh, geographical area of the big country. Uh, the uh, the uh, government has also, you know, uh, has a set uh, a procedure for doing this, for supporting uh, the upgradation of the centers of the excellence by means of providing financial assistance and also technical assistance from the leading already existing uh, COEs. Uh, we all know that uh, the cause of some of uh, the rare disease, such as the spinal muscular atrophy, Duchenne's muscular dystrophy is, is really prohibited. So the government is also uh, lending steps to promote indigenization of uh, medicines for treatment of rare diseases. The digital platform uh, for individual and corporate and other donors have also been created by the government for facilitating voluntary donations for the treatment of patients with uh, uh, rare diseases. 
some of the initiatives which the government of India has uh, uh, has done till now is, as I said in the beginning, the constitution of uh, the Central Technical Committee for Rare Diseases. This, I must say, is a very powerful uh, committee wherein all the technical challenges of the country can be discussed under the, uh, the technical head of the country, who is the Director General of uh, Health Services. We also have a National Rare Disease Committee under the, under the DG ICMR, the research wing of the Government of India. And uh, this also discussed many of the issues highlighted uh, uh, by, by various communities, including um, the code activism, etc., and discuss various issues to ease the plight of the patients suffering from rare disease. We also have a registry to collect rare disease data maintained by once again the Indian Council for Medical uh, Research and we are trying to refine this registry by increasing the number of uh, feeding center of excellences and also streamlining uh, the rare diseases which are already listed out. Uh, we, in our attempt uh, to decrease the cost of uh, uh, medicines, we have uh, an exemption on basics basic custom duty and the GST, which is the tax in India on drugs being imported on for the rare diseases and also um, for the individual use and also through the center of excellence. This also includes many of the many of the special diets, which I am told are required for many of the rare diseases, particularly belonging to uh, group, uh, group two. Uh, we are also increasing a lot of um, activities in terms of awareness for rare, di rare diseases, although we are moving in a controlled manner. And we also provide uh, information regarding the services available through observations of, uh, of particular days like the rare disease day, etc. And this, the idea is to promote uh, equity with social uh, opportunity, healthcare, and access to diagnosis and treatment for all people living with rare disease. This is in sync with, uh, uh, with the motto uh, of the country where we should not leave anybody behind for health. The way forward which we are seeing in the future is capacity building for the healthcare professionals, promoting indigenous production of drugs for treatment of rare diseases, involvement of the states, strengthening alternative ways such as uh, financial assistance through uh, the CSR, which is being uh, rolled out by many of the public sector undertakings or the corporate organizations, and also concentrating on prevention of rare diseases by indulging in extensive prenatal and antenatal screening, etc. Ministry of Health um, and Family Welfare will welcome suggestions and support from all stakeholders, including the civil society organizations, patient groups in strengthening the understanding of rare diseases in the country and accelerating the implementation of the National Policy for Rare Disease 2021. It's indeed a pleasure to hear from, uh, from many of the learned speakers here. And I also understand that I am also aware that many of our colleagues are from India or are also participating um, uh, physically there. And uh, we would be taking feedbacks from them when they come back and we would be doing our best to uh, implement the policy and improve the quality of life in those patients with rare diseases whom we are not able to provide extent, uh, definitive care and also um, increasing our efforts to cover as many uh, patients suffering from rare disease as possible by providing the financial support through um, uh, world-class centers of excellence which will be coming up in the country. With this, I thank you once again uh, for inviting me here. Thank you, uh, Dr. El Swastasharan. That was excellent. We appreciate you being here. I'd like to invite Dr. Amy Adams to uh, again honor you as our keynote speaker from India with a, a, a presentation of a floral bouquet for you. And because you are not here, uh, physically, I will have to be your humble representative to accept them on your behalf. So allow me to accept these, Dr. L. Swastisharan, on behalf of you. So, Amy. Yeah, how's this going to work? So pretend I am Dr. L. Swastisharan.
<laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the nice gesture.